Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft server admin tutorial series, otherwise known as Bucket Plugin Tutorials. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. Sometimes I do them twice a week, and then if you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that below. I capture those, give a shout out when we do it. Like this week is brought to you by Kerbal Lurb. Yes, that is a fan. That, that just rolls right off. Kerbal Lurb. So anyway, he suggested this. I looked it up, thought it was really cool, really quick and simple, so I thought I'd give it a go. This is Minigames Party. This one, you've seen this on a lot of servers out there. I think Mindplex is the one I know off the top of my head, and then I think Hypixel started doing this. It's not quite as complicated as they run on Hypixel or Mindplex, but there's some really fun ones. There's, you know, your classic spleef, your parkour racing, your chicken fight, or your chicken tag slap fight. Uh, simple smoke monster. Um, you've seen some of these, I think, around, but uh, the author is definitely actively working on it and is going to add a lot more, so maybe there's some more by the time you see this tutorial. So anyway, it's done by Instant Labs. Let's get to it. It's actually crazy simple to do. So the first thing we need to do is build our lobby. So what I'm going to do, actually, to help you guys out, I'm going to provide you a download for a no world Um so you can run these null worlds really quick and easy. I know you can use a generator with multiverse, but sometimes that just doesn't work. So here's a null world, downloads in the jibbles, help you guys get started out with this stuff. It helps reduce lag and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do, first thing we need to do is build a lobby, which, done. Very complicated, very, very pretty lobby, let me tell you. And then we do MP set lobby, so that's going to set the lobby to be here. And then what we want to do is pretty much the only other command that we really need to do to get this started is MP setup. Now, however, when I run that, it's going to create the game levels in each direction. So you need like 500 blocks in each direction at the current level I am at. So I'm going to do MV TP mini games. Okay, so here we are in our mini games um, world. And we're at like Y3. Let's get a little bit higher. A little bit higher than that. Okay, so then what we need to do the next bit is I had a little bit of trouble importing this world, but that's fine. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go MV or MP setup. And then we wait. Okay, so after, <laughs> after your server freezes up for loading all of this stuff at once, it's, uh, it's good to go now. So let's go ahead and go back to... Uh, the main world here, MV confirm, and okay, here we go. Here is our lobby. So now what we want to do is we're going to create a sign, bam, so let's see here, incredibly easy, what we're going to do is put this down and we're going to go party, or party, and there we go. Sign is created. Now, you actually, before we go any further, you actually don't need any kind of permissions. It kind of gets up and goes right off the bat. Um, to create a sign, you need the MP.sign. If you want people to be able to set up a war, uh, mini games party, it would be MP.setup. Um, but all the other ones are defaults. You don't even really need a permissions plugin. We'll go over the configuration file here towards the end. Actually, let's do it now, and then we'll talk, and then we'll do a demonstration, and we'll talk about some of the more commands that you have access to. So let's hop over, take a look. Okay, so here we are with our minigame server. So like always, you're going to put it in your plugins, and then you're going to drop it in here, start your server, and then you get a minigames config file. Then you're going to go ahead and open that. So... Pretty quick and simple. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done that. Now, there's a lot of stuff you can edit in here. There's three different rewards that you can set up. You can do an economy, which I believe you need Vault to do that. Most plugins need that to do an to run an economy. But you can do item rewards, um, which would be like a random amount of items, depending on the item ID that you select. Or you can do in-game or like plugin specific credits so those are the three options you can do if you don't set economy or items were items rewards to true you'll use the credits so you can do true here for use economy minimum reward maximum reward so it'll grab a random one between those those two um settings and then uh item reward it'll 
take a random amount between those two of uh, 264, which is diamonds. You get a max of 50 players on in mini game. You can, you know, your all this stuff is pretty much. I don't know. You probably don't want to modify much of this, but uh, you can change your minimum game, minimum players if you want it to be more than just one player to, to set it to two. We're probably going to do that to two. Let's just do that. Um, you can set the descriptions for each of the game types if you want to modify what is said. Um, here is the shop prices of all the stuff. Now, I don't think you can edit what kind of stuff is in here. All you can do is edit the price that's available. Now, the shop is what's run when you're playing the game. So, you can you can purchase um, additional perks, I guess. Now, if you don't uh, specify vault or I mean economy, I think this is going to use uh, the credits. Otherwise, it'll use the economy. And then here's where the lobby is set, and then the mini games. So when we get to it, the set component of the mini game. So you got, here's the mini game name, and then the component is spawn, spectator lobby, lobby, all that stuff. So um, the lobby is going to be going always, always going back to the main lobby, but you can set a spectator lobby for each one of these options. Those are the things that you can change. Um, the ones that have a finish, you can change to the finish location if you want. Um, I'm trying to see, here we go, finish line. You can change the location of that using an in-game command, which we'll go over here in a moment. Let's go ahead and hop back into it. Okay, so here we are. We got uh, the sign going. We got our little guy uh, testing dummy here. Before we hop into it, let me go over a couple commands. So you can do MP setup point, and that'll teleport you back to the point that you set up all of the mini games. Now that's helpful because there's a couple that you need to finish. There's like the jump one, which is like you basically got to make a parkour course um, from one point to the other. There's a couple more, so just hover over it or try a couple test runs and see which ones you need to modify. Um, there's that one there. You can also then do MP stats, and that's going to give you your own statistics. Now we have credits because um, because we didn't set it up for monies or anything like that. And then you can also do, like I was saying earlier, you can do MP set component, and then the mini game name. So uh, mini game, and then the component. So uh, spectator lobby. All that stuff, uh, finish line, um, spawn, all that stuff you can set manually as well, and then the lobby for each mini game. By default, it all lobbies back to this main one, but you know that's how it goes. You can also then do MP enable, uh, and then the mini game type uh, if you'd like to disable or enable those. Then you, everybody has access to this one, which is leader boards wins, and then or uh, credits. I think credits is the other one. Those are kind of nice. And then you have access to leave and shop in the game. So let's go ahead and uh, get join the queue. One more player to start. So let's go ahead and join them. All right. So the first game is Disintegration. Starting the floor is disappearing. You are going to lose. Oh, okay. I remember this one. This is pretty cool. So let's just uh, see if he lasts longer than us. Um, oh, man. So the red ones are It's going to be gone here in a second. I can't believe he's going to, like, outlast me here. Okay, he won. He won, and he didn't move. So this is the jump and run. This is the one that I'm talking about that you need to actually um, modify. So there we go. You can do slash shop, and then you can buy some of these things that you've set up um, in there. So I bought a jump boost. So does that, does that, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, like I said, this one you have to set up, and I haven't set it up. So I'm just going to fly over here. And then that will, that'll, so then we win. You won this round, 30 credits. So that's it. See, it's pretty easy. Um, I ran into some problems if you don't run the right version of Bucket. So um, be sure to run, um, be sure to run the correct version. Shear as many sheep as possible. Some of them explode. Okay, this is going to be a lag fest. Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and just shear these guys. Cool. So that's all the game is. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Oh man, that killed me. And now we got the slapper. Um, yeah. So anyway, leave. There we go. So we we teleported. Stop the mini game because there's less than players required. So Zen got teleported back here. Let's set it back today. 
So that's all I got. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. This this plugin is really quick and easy, um, very simple to set up. Might have to restart your server after you create all of the um, you know the platforms and all that stuff. Be sure to use 1.7.9 R2 for Bucket. Um, I did some testing with Spigot. Spigot just seemed to have some problems with it, which is unfortunate. But uh, if you're running into problems, be sure to run this, the right version of Bucket. And that's all. So this is Cos for Mick Friends. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe below. And always remember, enjoy the game. God bless. We can just do the YOLO, YOLO jump. Whoa. Okay. Anyway. Back to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was uh, that was a lot.